Uh, let's see how to do this. Um, wow. Security just uh, made me delete my videos. And they took like the few notes I have. But don't worry, folks. So most of it's still up in here. It's been fairly recent. Um, I guess I'll give a major announcement later because I've made a decision and oh well. But other than that, hello folks, for I'm one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. Well, you know what? I went to Sanford today. In fact, here's a little video clip that I got to keep about my trip to Sanford. I kind of took the scenic way there. So there's the mightiest St. John's River. And that section is where I'm going to. So I'm almost there unless they are doing stupid stuff again. Let's see here. So there's the St. John's. And that's the general area where I'm going. Because right around there, I think literally right across from where that boat shed is, is the Civic Center. I just hope I can do this. Bye. So, yep, so I went into an NXT event. And just to prove it to everyone, I have my... Ooh, electronic ticket, notes, stuff, yeah, good old e-ticket, probably scanned it and went through, notes, so many notes, so much stuff, disclaimer, whatever, yeah, but I wonder if I can show you a better version of it, let's see here, probably because it passed, Yeah, it must have happened when they... Oh, no, there it is. See, it has a little scan bar up top. A little bit of everything general emission. I'll tell you what, I was kind of excited about going back to an NXT event. I haven't been to an NXT event probably in over a year. So I was all hyped up about it. Um, kind of mixed. Sanford is not necessarily a great venue for it. Um, it's not that bad of a drive. I think it only took me like half an hour to get home. If that. Yeah, but it's about half an hour, depending on traffic and stuff. I think it's even quicker on the way home because I was thinking about content for you, my YouTube audience. And I still have some pictures to show you guys, so that's okay. But yeah. Um, the one security guy wanted to flex his muscle. He said, yeah, you can't do that stuff. It's like, but it's general notes. But a little bit better than I remember, which is a good sign. Um, some good matches, some matches that you're like, meh. And actually, I think all the matches were actually pretty good. I uh, will start off, I'm going to show you guys some pictures, because you can still take those. Um, oh, wait a second. Major announcement. I, the one, the only Hobo Tom... I'm announcing a personal boycott on NXT. Um, you know what? I've always had, I've always been able to take videos of NXT. I haven't sat there and taped the whole match or taped the whole show. I like to get entrances, some action, and I get to take pictures of the anatomy of some female wrestlers. But yeah. So this was the first time security ever pulled me. I think this was the second time. And I and you know what? Yeah, twice is enough. First time it was the one guy in Daytona Beach. And even like fans were booing him. This guy just wanted to flex his muscle. He thought taking my notes and giving me an empty notebook back would make himself look cool. They'll pr I hope to some degree that they look through the notes. Because I do try to... I, with my notes, I don't mention, I don't go move by move. Oh, off the rope, clothesline, back body drop. Um, pulls him up by hair into rest hold, to chin lock. I don't go move by move. I'll put down general thoughts. Say, hey, this is a well-paced good match. It's a good heel face dynamic. And that happened. There was probably the best ref spot. I have seen in a long time, and I could not get a video. Well, I couldn't even show you guys the video of that. I'll try to describe it. 
Um, a lot of new up and coming talent that I've never seen on NXT TV that you, the YouTube universe, might like to see, but now you won't be able to see them except for, I think, in maybe one or two pictures. It's like, oh yeah. Wow. Yep. It's. It's okay. I'm now just having a personal boycott of NXT. So they get no credit from me, my friends, nor my family for a very, very long time. Yes, I do. And immortality. So yeah, I have to open that up for my cat. I was looking for that. But yeah, um, you know what? Saying that I'm a YouTuber and saying, hey, listen, these are my notes. I'm not going move by move. I'm saying good match, great match. You know, you might see Gigi Allen's the, the, the freaking star of this match. Um, the other match, they were just like, using their ass to heat each other with. Great pace. Again, amazing. One of the best ref, one of the best ref bumps I've ever seen in a while. And, and it was just entertaining. I can say entertaining match, fun match. Enjoyed this match. Give this match a rating. It's like, hey, who are these guys? This match should be on TV. We need to see more of this person. Um, I will not fault the wrestlers. Maybe some fault comes in the administration. They say, hey, we don't want this stuff to come out. But yeah. Mortality is a facade. Not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. But yeah. Um, what else? Who wants to take my notes? It doesn't matter. I just don't remember all the names. So I can still give a decent retelling of stuff. But I know it comes down from above. I doubt it. Shawn Michaels could care less. Someone probably in some office said, yeah, we, we can't do that. Um, again, security... He asked me, he's like, is this your first time on a show? I'm like, no. I've come here for like five years. Well, not necessarily to Sanford. It's like, oh, well, you can't do this stuff. They never said anything in any other show. Delete them all. I'm like, fine. Take my notes. I'm like, really? Fine. I hope he takes them, brings them to um, whoever's in charge and say, hey, yay booze. Amazing. Tilt a whirl, tilt a whirl around the world, gut wrench suplex. Um, they need to showcase this guy more. Like, this should, like, for the one match, like, why isn't, why haven't we ever seen this match on TV? This match is amazing. Um, negative comments, it's like, hey, this seems to be going on long, and this match I think I've seen on TV, like, a few times. Or my e or the illegal streaming site. So yeah. Mind sharing. Can't believe anything you see. YouTube is not all real. It is on my channel. No, I hate the speak to text function. It is on my channel because I don't know how to make it fake. Yeah, so the one guy I wanted to flex his muscle, whatever. Um, the wrestlers themselves could probably care less. It probably gives probably gives some of the guys that have never been on TV some exposure. Like a few people, I'll show you. I'm like, I've, who are these people? I don't know. Who, I don't know who they are. 
and I'm not spending money all the time to go to NXT show. I went to this show so again. It's been over a year. I guess things have changed. I'm trying to think, how much did they change? So I know there was the whole COVID nineteen situation. Two thousand. Two thousand. They literally stopped coming to Daytona Beach. I went up to one in Jacksonville. June, I think last year. I don't know. Look back in my archive. Watch my videos. But yeah, so most of this is going to be be ranting and raving. But yeah, um, so... Long story short, I am right now boycotting NXT. I'm not going to watch any other shows. I'm not going to go to any other shows. In fact, I'm going, I'm going to tell my friends, hey, I am not going, and you should not go either. Um, any dates I go on are not going to be NXT. And more importantly, you've lost this fan. You've lost my sister's family as fans. So that's her, Christopher. One, two, three, four, five, six more potential fans. As far as I know, my one nephew might have kids already, and it might be a great uncle. So you're going to lose them as fans. I mean, eventually I'm just going to tell people, hey, just don't go to it. Like, watch the main roster. Because it's bigger, they can't, I don't know, police it as well. And as long as you're not, I, I, I do understand them videotaping stuff. As long as I'm not there videotaping the whole event and getting snippets of things, like I can't see where the problem is because I know that's the f fair something that even YouTube agrees by. As long as you're not showing the whole thing, and just like, well, not copyright stuff, like songs, or at least not long parts of it. I mean, they really can't say anything. If you're, if you're critiquing something, if I'm critiquing a match, this is a ham sandwich of a match. I could have this match. That should tell the higher up something. It's like, hey, you got to step it up a little bit, make it more interesting. Or, hey, this match was amazing. Why isn't this match on TV? Or, hey, this ref bump was the most amazing ref bump, ref bump I saw. So, yeah. Um, take it what you will. It's okay by me. And actually, I, I dropped my camera and my, my little camera kind of fell apart a little bit. I think I've had this camera forever. Almost forever. Poor camera's beat up. So, yeah. So, I am personally boycotting NXT. No more NXT for me. And people, why AEW, even with its lackluster booking, is in theory in competition with WWE, especially NXT. Because they're not as Jack Astor. So media. Okay. That's something else. But yeah, so... That's my rant and rave. This is the, my last video ever on NXT. I will still be making other videos though about stuff. Um, coming up, so we do have the races coming up, so you'll be seeing behind the stage stuff. I think there they're honest. They're like, hey, just don't go live streaming while you're working because that's common sense. Don't post while you're working because that means you're not working. But if, it, wait, if you wait a day or two, whatever. So yeah, so... NXT has lost myself as a fan. Mike, I'm going to refer this to my friends and their families. So they've just lost probably a couple generations of people. Oh, that! And my ticket wasn't bad. 1150 something Sounds about right for an NXT ticket. I remember it being in $10, being $1.51 more. Hey, that's inflation. That's how things go. Everything's expensive. But now they want to charge you for a question and answer with the wrestlers. 
And how would that go? Because if you can't record their questions and answers, or your questions and their answers, why bother paying the 20 bucks for it just for a signature? When I got a selfie, and I'm sure I could have gotten a signature from the one guy on his fake lawyer card. But I'm like, dude, I'm happy with a selfie. Um, so yeah, I think ringside seats, I want to say are 20 bucks. But then if you want to do the meet and greet, that's an additional 20 bucks. I'm Hobo Tom, and I do things the hobo way. So that means I'm only going to spend the 11. I'm not paying. I'm not paying 32 dollars to go see an NXT event. That's not happening. My friend says, yeah, that's like what it is in Massachusetts. That's Massachusetts. Not not they're not doing the Florida house show circuit. Which by the way, I'm never going to. Period. I mean, unless they really come back, maybe in like a couple years. If they ever come back to Daytona Beach, I might do that. But I'll tell you what, I'm never going to Sanford. I was thinking about going to Orlando. I'm not going there. Hell no, am I, am I going to Dade City? And there's a whole bunch of other places in Florida that are semi near me, which I am not going to whatsoever. So with that said, let me show you some stuff that happened at NXT because they did not get all my stuff. See, that was my seat. Not so much front row. I was there in the back. Um, I will say this. There was the guy that, that literally stood up for the entire match. And the fact that they did not tell him to sit down. Like, he has ringside seats. And he was standing almost the whole time. The fact that security didn't say anything to, to him. I mean, security was just, like, targeting someone. They just, he just wanted to flex his muscle with the nearest person, and that was me. So, as, let's see here, find a picture of my cat. Let's see here. <laughs> or as Roddy Roddy Piper would say, or you know what? My cat would say, you know what, buddy? Fluff you. And I think the ghost of Roddy Roddy Piper would say the same thing. Except for in a lot meaner terms. But um, the first match, two people I never heard of. Um, some guy's a lawyer character. He threw out his card. <laughs> Did not get to the crowd. He does have to do a better job of card tossing. And Prince something. I don't know. Here's Prince guy. I'll tell you what. He looks like a prince. He looks like some princely wrestler. Yeah, I can't say bad stuff. I think I sent that to a couple female friends of mine. Equal opportunity person. Um, fun match. Honestly, kind of well paced. They did. So yeah, from that match, I'm trying to think of what match we had next. Had. It's a tag team match. It was Chen and Bo taking on what I'm calling the street the street thugs, the street thug prophets, because that's who they reminded me of. Don't have a picture of them. Again, solid tag team match. You definitely know who the heel is. You know who the face is. It was well paced. Good action throughout. Never got bored. Um, again, another solid cheeseburger match. And I think it was a woman's event. And it was Cora Jade, who is turning face again, I think. That's her. Uh, acoustics, the one thing I will say is that the acoustics in the building are not necessarily that good, especially compared to Daytona Beach. It was Cora Jade versus someone. Can't really remember who. Good, well-paced match. Um, good kind of flippy stuff. I'm always a fan of well-timed flippy stuff. It seemed real. I think I could tell that, that she told her the spots a couple times. Because in the headlock, she 
You would look around. Like, you could almost hear her say something covered up by her hair. So they're teaching him. At least they're not doing the John Cena thing where he just calls his spot. But when it's pretty obvious. Um, yeah. Again, solid match. Good action. Well paced. I think they went to the outside a few times. And, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that the one match. The next match. But now, for house shows, I will say this. And I can say this as a fan. I can appreciate when they do the four sides in the same hold. I think they started doing this. It would be simple stuff. It would be a very simple chin, reverse chin lock. But they would spend 10 seconds facing the hard camera. And then for the fans, they kind of scooch over to the right hand side. Do some facials. Yeah. Say, yeah, I am the master of the chin lock. And then maybe switch it, maybe switch it up, uh, stand up, reverse. And then the face is like, yeah, but I have the greatest chin lock. I have the greatest chin lock ever. And the heel's going, oh, no, no, no. So they're doing that where, where the audience, every aspect of the audience is really seeing the same thing. It just looks... It, presentation wise it looks good and when you're trying to connect to an audience that's working um, I will say this the, the one security and, and I should have known this from the beginning the one security guy was really with the exception of that wrestling fan that stood up all the time I still don't know why he didn't say anything to him some old guy every in, every entrance you just stand up and literally block the view of everyone else sitting behind him. Like, if you're in the front row, you don't need to stand up. Unless, like, there's a huge, Robert Roode, glorious moment. But, yeah. They didn't say anything to him. Um, there were some kids against the rail, and he's like, he tried to say, hey, hey step back. It's, it's for your protection, not high five. I'm like, oh, that guy's pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I was lulled into a false sense of security. For doing stuff. Um, then we had, I'm trying to think. So it's the one, two. Yeah, we had another. There were a lot of tag team matches. So then we had a women's tag team match. So, so, oh, it was good to see Electra Lopez back. Um, that's her and her partner. Forget what her name, Carmen something. There's Electra Lopez. Again, looking amazing. On. Um, see what's the best way yet. Yeah. On the ring apron. Um, this was a fun match. The one woman dressed up in a Kill Bill outfit. I forget who she was. I think it was um, Leon from the Brazilian tag team was also there. As her partner. Okay, good, solid match. Great double teams. Again, the double team with action. So they took the whole, the, even the faces took the whole five count in. I think this was the first match where I saw a really good hot tag. Um, again, Electra Lopez looks like she hasn't lost a step. Trying to egg on her partner, Carmen Moore. Again, maybe more so with the women. Because they had the longer hair, um, when you could see them tell the spots a little bit more so, because they would like literally cover their mouth with their hair and the side headlock. I have no hair to, to cover up stuff with, so I shall use my floppy fishing hat. But yeah, it would be something to the effect. Let's see if I can do this. So I'm here wrestling with my floppy fishing hat, put on a headlock, and say, "Hey, listen." There we go. You can't see my face. So this is the spot. So yeah. Again, at least it's not the obvious John Cena. Shoulder block, shoulder block. Back body drop. Can't see me. AA. I think that's how it goes. Shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle. Back, yeah, shoulder tackle, shoulder tackle. Back body drop, 
I forget that that third move. Yeah, it's literally the five moves of Doom. So, but yeah, let's see here. What was next? Oh, and then probably this this was a really good match. Hank and Tank, and some other guy. I have no idea who he was. Taking on the Gallus Boys. So again, there's a good picture of the Gallus Boys. Right there. Again, nice little action shot. She's that guy's jacked beast. Wolfgang. Um, just, just mauling the one guy. These are all stills. Um, Mark Coffee, I think? I sent that to a female friend. I was like, yeah, this is the guy you want giving me back rub. They had an amazing match. Um, fun match. Just action throughout. Great double teams. Gallus is such a heel team. Again, with NXT, they had also great fan interaction. They had uh, one fan brought an NXT tag team belt. Wolfgang called for it. Hey, let me see that belt. And I was like, yeah, sure. Wolfgang held the belt up. Yeah, yeah. Pass it back to him. Good stuff. The guy's probably like, yeah, you used my belt. That's pretty cool. I think the one to take us home to the intermission was Dijak versus Trick Williams. And oh my God, how these two have not been on TV yet is is beyond me. Because I'll tell you what, I know I haven't given a lot of readings because I've just talked because I don't have my, my pause button for my notes. So they're going to say, what's a ham sandwich? What's a cheeseburger? So what's S and T? So yeah. Um, this was a surf and turf quality match. Back and forth, heavy hitting, big impact, going to the outside, doing chops. They would start again on the right hand side. Oh, chops. The middle. Oh, some more chops. Then Trick Williams on the left hand side reversed it on Dijak, but more chops. So everyone, you just didn't think he was going on. You actually saw what was happening all the time. Great match. Why this match wasn't on TV, it did have kind of a wonk finish. Yeah, I don't want to put up ratings for these matches because I'm just ranting. But for wonk finishes, he took off a belt, hit Trick with it. The referee saw it said, no, 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 you can't do that. So DQ'd him, went to the poor announce girl, took her chair, was going to whack Trick Williams over the head with it. Uh, Carmelo Hayes came out to a huge pop, stopped him. Trick and Carmelo chase uh, Dijak off. Dijak, again, feast your eyes. Again, why this match hasn't been on TV yet, or maybe it's been on TV and I just haven't seen it. Great match. I applaud both wrestlers. Um, not so great of a finish, but won't be highly rated match. But again, yeah, I might not rate these matches. I just might tell you what happened. But yeah, great surf and surf match. Then an intermission, and this was one of my favorite moments. And this is what you get at NXT that you don't get at other shows, is that you will see the wrestlers every so often come out, although I am terrible. I have yet to learn the art of taking selfies. He's like, dude, that's a terrible selfie. It's like, oh, yeah, that's so much better. And I thanked him for it. I'm like, oh, man, cool. It's great to see you. I think he said, oh, it's great to see you come out, man, and be with us fans. You mind if I take a selfie? He's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, oh, cool. It's like, oh, that's a terrible selfie. Let's, let's take a better one. So, yeah, I took a better one. Again, this is what NXT is about. You're getting the fans there, even though I look absolutely dumbfounded and I look crazy. Um, and then I told, I had one fan interact with me. Yes, fan interaction. I was going to give her her YouTube moment, but I can't because they took it from me. But I think she, it was a really simple question. So like, she's like, well, what's going on? It's like, oh, there's an intermission bait. 10, 15 minutes, you can go up, use the bathroom, get a t-shirt, snack on, stretch your legs. So like, oh, okay. And I think I took my selfie with him. I'm like, hey, that guy's a pro wrestler. It's like, really? It's like, so she called her daughter. I think I tapped her daughter on the shoulder. Said, hey, I think your mom wants you. 
I'm like, yeah, she's, and then they, they were talking about cell phones and getting selfies and stuff, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, positive fan interaction until that jackass took all my stuff. Yeah, so again, that, that's what NXT was about for me. And you know what? NXT, not anymore. I'll never say anything about NXT ever again. When we came out, we had Thea Hall, who looked absolutely dejected, taking on JC Jane. So there's Thea Hall. I don't know. They were doing like a freaking grind off pose. She was like telling everyone to suck it. Um, seeing it just a small action shot here. Let's see here. Nope, wrong way. There we go. JC Jane, Thea Hall. Not a little bit better match. There's JC Jane right there. And that was the guy, this guy here, that decided to stand up during every entrance. That wrestling fan. There's always one of them. Yeah, that was a good match. Solid match. Um, I, think was, I think it was in that match where, where I mentioned, it's like, yeah, they're doing a lot of ass-based attacks. Which is not necessarily what you want to see as a wrestling fan. It wasn't anything bad. I think that match started to like kind of drag on for a little bit. Who's that against? Yeah, the women's match is kind of dragged on. Like it just felt like a, okay, they're just like biting time now. So the next match, I'm trying to think, who was the next match? It was Damon Kemp and someone taking on Tyler Bates and someone I have no idea this was the match that had the greatest ref spot ever and I know I'm exaggerating but one that one guy on Tyler Bates's team he did that around the world gut wrench suplex I will applaud when I like this was fun there was so much energy in this match um, again, the greatest ref bump ever. Tyler Bates did an airplane spin on Damon Kemp, which seemed to last for at least a minute. Really good stuff. Then, then he dropped him down. Good. But Tyler Bates is leaning against the ropes, absolutely dizzified. Damon Kemp doesn't know if he's in Sanford, Orlando, Southern Georgia, or Northern Vermont at this time. He rolls the referee up. Tyler Bates. One, two, three. <laughs> Counts the ref for a three count. Damon Kent thinks he won the match. He thinks Tyler Bates the ref. Tyler Bates raises his hand. The referee says, no, you didn't win. You pinned me. So, yeah, I, I won. So T Tyler Bates raises his hand again. The referee brings his hand down. Greatest ref spot ever. That was fun. And that made me really chuckle. So yeah, that was a good match. And then right before the main event, we had Gigi Dolan versus... I have no idea. Again, a little picture of the two of them. Right there, classic armbar lock. Nothing too salacious there. I will say this, Gigi Allen's ass is utterly amazing looking though. It's huge, and it jiggles. It has like a near perfect, like smooth, smooth valley shape to it from like the top, which is great. Um, trying to think, of another quick little picture there. Him in the armbar. I'll, I'll tell you what. She knows uh, the one person knows as a heel how to work over a damaged limb. And the focus was on Gigi Dolan's knee for her. It's pretty good, Gigi Dolan. Every time she'd come back, she, she would still keep on selling the knee. Good stuff. Gigi Dolan eventually wins. Why couldn't JC Jane win? But, oh well, that's the way it is. Then the main event, we had the Chase U people. Um, Andrew Chase, that's right, versus Carmelo Hayes. And the first one I put down in my notes, and I can remember it almost word for word, I'm like, wait a second, why do I feel like I've seen this match 
several times on my illegally streamed wrestling show that I watch at home. So yeah, it just felt like they threw two stars together that have had matches before. But if you've seen NXT, you're like, wait a second. I've seen this a dozen times. It's like, why am I seeing it again? Uh, Duke Hudson and Thea Hall were there. Picture of both Thea and Duke. Thea looks absolutely, absolutely dejected, though. She's like, why am I out here? I lost the women's belt. Whenever Carmella hates it, something she would say, boo, thumbs down. Um, just by her pure body language. Just there, resting against the ring post. And just, like, shouting, trying to shout things of encouragement to people. Honestly, she was more of the highlight of this main event than what was going on. Carmelo Hayes eventually won. It's that match where you're like, you know what? I've seen this before. I know the outcome. And I know that this guy's not winning. So, yeah. Um, I think it was then. The security guy said, hey, listen, I need your stuff. You have to delete that stuff. This is a copyrighted event. It's like, dude, whatever. It's like, you just lost myself, my extended family, my friends and their families as wrestling fans for a long time. Uh, COVID kind of zonked the wrestling business. It's been slow coming back. So I know 2021 kind of got back with um, people in spaces now that, now that they're doing somewhat of the Florida house show circuit. They haven't come out as far as Daytona Beach. They go up to Jacksonville. I don't think they've gone down to Titusville. I forget if they did. Or down there. I forget how far south they would go. Maybe Daytona Beach was as far east and south. So Jacksonville's a little... Where they have it's a little more west of where I am. But yeah, they've lost a bunch of people. So I'm sorry I don't have more for you guys. You know, I always tried to do my best for my YouTube audience, but... Obvious, someone doesn't like that and annoys me. Should annoy you, because you know what, you could be next. It's always that cautionary tale. It takes one person, and they do it once. Eventually, yeah. Like, will people still go to NXT shows no matter what I say? I'm sure they will. Um, I'm sure there are families and stuff that just want to go out and have a good time. Nothing against that. Um, I think I've just been soured to it. And the last time I went to Jacksonville was it was okay. The seating arrangement was meh. Um, the armory is not necessarily the best place. They didn't say anything bad to me. Maybe not the best setup. And that probably has something to do with NXT. Um, when uh, Jasmine Shafir and Marina. Jasmine Dukes and Maria Shafir, got their names backwards, showed up. They were they wanted to keep that hush-hush. And they didn't tell me. They told a whole bunch of people not to take pictures for that whole thing. People are like, Phew. Of course, then I think a couple of shows later, people just started to leave during the intermission. And you go from a, a nearly full house to people slowly trickling out to intermission and like half, half the stage leaving, you have to go to the third person to find your fan of the night. So yeah, um, just kind of souring on NXT. WWE is still pretty good. They're in the bigger venues though. Maybe that, who knows? That's the way to go. Maybe I'll cover more independent events. I mean, let me know, my YouTube audience. Other than that, to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll be putting up my other stuff. I mean, the other thing, this opens up that whole Pandora's box. Because then you think it's like, well, what are they going to do about the uh, 2K gaming when people make their own wrestling leagues? Because trust me, I'm not the only person that does that. There's a whole bunch of people out there with using the WWE 2K engine to make their own wrestling leagues. And every so often, like, featuring some characters. Like, um, I saw, well, it was AJ Styles. Do they call him Ar Arthur Jones? Though? So, yeah. Again, you never know what's going to happen down a slippery slope and I think I'm just going to take some time off and 
I'll tell you what, there's no way in fluff that no way on a snowball's chance in four right now that I'm going to pay $30 for a meet and greet when I know I can't share that information with others. Like why go? Again, I'm sure the guys, those, those two new guys, probably need that exposure. They need rep time. need to be in front of a live audience. But yeah, I mean, as a fan, I thank them. It's like, it's really great that you guys come out. We really do appreciate you guys coming out here with, with in the fans and it makes us feel good. And, and he was happy that he had some attention. So who knows? Who knows, who knows what will happen? Who knows what will happen? As far as we know, I mean, I might get a call from a university and they say, we want you. <laughs> I also might get a, a letter in the mail or an email saying, cease and desist all programming. Who knows? Whatever, brother man. Overall, again, the main event was meh. It just felt like I've seen it a dozen times already. I already knew what the ending was going to be. Like when they have the champion in a like a tag match or a six six person match, you have the marquee people there, but you know the belt's not on the line. You just kind of enjoy it more, and you don't know what the ending's gonna be. So yeah. Other than that, so thank everyone for watching. Again, thank you guys for your support. And you'll see me later. I know. The races are coming up, so I will be doing some behind-the-scenes action because I already have that one video made. Let's see here. Where is it? No, I know it's here somewhere. Oh, I haven't unlocked my cell phone. Yeah, it took me forever to figure out how to delete pictures, too, by the way. So lighting's not actually the best. Yeah, I'll show you a little preview of the races. See, look at this. Today, there's the main road. Today, I am an official vehicle. It means I can almost drive wherever I feel like. And besides, I have a truck. It just states, go anywhere, whenever. And my co-worker occurs. Yay. Co-workers, always happy to see co-workers. Means I'm in the right place. Yep, that does mean I'm in the right place. So I have to save that video. Be the first one I add to the race, race day videos. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Thank you so much for your outpouring support and consideration. Let me know what you think about security. Am I way off in recording? I'm trying to think. Normally for a whole show. I might get a half hour or so of videos in.